What's up guys, Frank Fulci back again with another weekly haul unboxing and collection update video. Before we jump into this pretty decent sized haul, make sure you click on the subscribe button and also click on the bell icon for notifications of all future uploads. Welcome to the channel guys. I've had a long ass day. Uh, listen to how stupid I am. So, uh, behind me you see a big shelf of like, this is a lot of the boutique stuff. The top is Scream Factory. Got some 88 films across here. I have a bunch of random Arrow stuff. Not really alphabetized. A bunch of blue underground shit underneath. And then on the floor, I have a bunch of stacks of like more boutique stuff. Code Red, Severin, all this shit, right? I have one big ass shelf that's like actually my dresser, but then on top of the dresser drawers is a bunch of shelving. And I have stacks and stacks of movies on there. And for whatever reason, today I decided when I woke up, let me go through these stacks and alphabetize the stacks. Uh, it's not gonna really tidy it up, but at least there'll be an order in which, you know, if I'm trying to find some movie that starts with the letter C, at least instead of going through all these stacks for hours at a time, I can just go to the section that I know is C. Even if it's behind other stacks, at least I can move it and here's the C's, right? I started that shit. Today's Saturday when I'm filming this. It's 4.40. I started that at 10 o'clock this morning. I'm about halfway done. Again, not touching this stuff here, not touching these stacks on the side of me here and my other little shelves and stuff. Just one shelf I decided to attack. And uh, yeah, it's taken me a good six hours or more so far. And like I said, I think I'm about halfway done. The thing is like I put them on my bed. So I need to finish this shit so that I can actually sleep tonight. So uh, I don't know why I did this. I'm fucking exhausted. I just put my contact lenses in and my eyes are like all fucked up. But, um, yeah, I guess the good thing about this is, A, yeah, it's a little more organized in terms of, uh, you know, the lettering, like I just mentioned. But also, I found maybe, like, 30, 30 out of hundreds is nothing, but 30 uh, copies of movies that I can sell. Uh, nothing special, it's just, like, stuff that I have upgraded, like an older version of I Know What You Did Last Summer, Blu-ray, uh, but I have, you know, the 88 Films version of it, or um, a copy of Deadpool, which on Blu-ray, but then I have Deadpool two-year anniversary on Blu-ray. I don't know why the fuck I have them both. Anyway, if you guys are looking for any kind of movies, hit me in the comments and I'll let you know what I have. Again, nothing special in terms of crazy limited boutique -y stuff, but uh, there's some good stuff there. So hopefully I can get some money out of those. And this haul that I'm gonna, un gonna do here is actually more movies than I'm selling. So it doesn't really matter how many I get rid of because they come in more than they go out. Anyway, guys, I'm three minutes into this video and I haven't hauled anything yet. So let me start. This is a CD thing, you know, I always get the music out of the way. I hope everyone's doing well. Sorry about my ranting here. I don't usually start videos that way, but it's just been a long fucking day. Just wanted to fill you guys in on what's going on. I could have like done some sort of like time-lapse video of me doing all this organizing, but no, it was too much and I'm fucking dead. Um, so anyway, this is a package from my good brother, wow, Andrew. We used to talk a lot on Facebook, that's how I know him through, you know, common interest in music, hardcore stuff, which I'm about to show you. Uh, and uh, we used to talk a lot, and we don't really talk that often anymore, but he's a great guy, and I hope he's watching here. Uh, thank you a lot for this package, brother. I appreciate you. I've always appreciated you. Anyway, let me show you guys what he sent me. He sent me a bunch of Ouija Mac uh, CDs. He always orders, like, multiple copies so that he can get, like, special stuff. Ouija Mac does this thing where if you order five copies of something, he automatically sends you, I don't know, some other type of merch or whatever. So of course Andrew doesn't need five copies of the same thing, so he's fucking awesome enough to send me these extra copies that he has. But anyway, this is Ouija Mac Dirtbag. This is Ouija Mac and Baby E, who I don't know, but we never forgot. CD. Uh, Ouija Mac Pretty Ugly 2 which is, I believe, the newest one. And then he was awesome enough to also throw this one in, Buckshot, Violent Night. And Buckshot is an artist that I've showed off a couple of releases here and there. Uh, he's very good at um, taking advantage of collectors. Now, I don't say that in a negative way, but if you're a collector of stuff, he has like 47 different versions of every fucking release that he puts out, which again is awesome uh, if you are a collector and you have the means to collect every single version, but I just stay away from him. I, I mean, I like the music of his that I've heard, but I'm not the biggest fan, so I don't even go down that rabbit hole. Anyway, thank you again, Andrew. I appreciate you, brother. Let's do some Amazon stuff here. I actually had started ripping that one open. 
All right, looks like we have a gift here. Oh, of course, from the good brother Bill. Thank you, my friend. Always sending me these awesome uh, Paramount Presents titles. I don't know Amazon, man, or not even Amazon, but Paramount. Like, sometimes they uh, put the shrink wrap on the movie. Sometimes they put it on the entire slip. Now, this one doesn't have it. This is number 29 in Paramount Presents. Uh, Harold and Maud. It's one I've actually heard of, shockingly, but never seen. I don't know if this is going to focus. The light is... Come on. Come on now. He hello? There, uh, there we go. I knew I would get it for you guys. But at least I can show you the cool, uh, the way that they do these slippies for, uh, for, um, for the Paramount Presents titles. The slipcovers open up uh, to show, like, original poster art. So always uh, excited when I get those Paramount Presents. Of course, this is number 29, like I said. And I am all caught up in those, I believe. So thanks again, brother, Bill. Always sending me stuff. I don't know what the hell this big package is here. It started opening up and I tried like not to look in. Like it's pretty loose. Uh, but what the, oh God, no. No, not like this. Why? What is this? Wow. <laughs> Merry Christmas, bro. Hope all is well. Enjoy this awesome set from Dan from Reject Films. Holy shit, bro. You didn't have to do this, man. Why, why'd you do this? The Evil Dead Groovy Collection. Holy shit. Wow. I know this is on my Amazon wish list, but I'm not sure if he got this off. I mean, he must have got this off my wish list if he sent this like this. I don't know. But anyway, guys, this is a fucking amazing set from what I can tell. I mean, just the box that it's in is fucking awesome. But this has the Evil Dead, Evil Dead 2, and Ash vs. Evil Dead, the complete collection. Now that's the television series. I only ended up watching like the first season and half of that, so at least now I can revisit it. Although, going through my stacks of shit that I talked about before, I found all three seasons on Steelbook that I have. But anyway, this is actually 4K of the first two Evil Dead films. Now, Army of Darkness is not included here. I guess different uh, company owns the rights to that, of course. Uh, I have the, you know, I have a couple of different versions of that. Actually, I have the Scream Factory Army of Darkness. Anyway. Uh, so this is the yeah, 4K and Blu-ray and digital. Now, there's a bunch of shit here. Let me go ahead and show this off first. Uh, if you guys want to pause and I don't know what you can do with video. If you can zoom in on video, maybe you guys are techier than I am. But anyway, disc one, 4K Ultra of the Evil Dead. Disc two is Blu-ray of the Evil Dead. Disc three is DVD of the Evil Dead. Uh, then we have disc one for Evil Dead 2, which again is 4K. Disc two is Blu-ray. Uh, I believe these are just ported over versions of the re previous 4Ks, which I have, and now I can add more to the cell pile. But um, then we have six discs on Blu-ray only of, uh, of the Ash vs. Evil Dead series, but again, that's fine. I can never tell the difference between 4K and Blu-ray anyway. But yeah, man, fucking awesome. Thank you very much, Dan. You are the man. I know you've been a little under the weather lately, but I hope you're, hopefully you're feeling a little better. And I appreciate you, brother. Thank you very much. Did not expect that. Fucking amazing. All right, guys, let's get into some of the stuff that I did expect. Grindhouse Video. This is an order. So Grindhouse Video is in, uh, well, they were in Florida. And now they're in Knoxville, Tennessee. Shout out to Knoxville people, because my aunt and uncle live out there, actually. I know they're having some crazy weather, but luckily my aunt and uncle uh, were just missed by the tornadoes and shit out there. Anyway, this is a, an order I put in a while ago because they don't have a physical store anymore. It takes a little longer for the orders to come through, but that's all right because uh, everyone knows I have tons of shit to watch that I've never watched yet, so I don't need really my orders to ever rush to get here. But anyway, this is an excited order for me. I put a bunch of different stuff in. This was, I guess, part of the Black Friday or Black November sale that they had going on for Grindhouse. I decided to pick up a bunch of Synapse stuff that I've never picked up over the years. For whatever reason, I only own like 10 Synapse releases. Which is kind of crazy because I feel like they have a lot of good stuff that I've missed over the years. But now I filled in some of the gaps. Here's Legions of the Dead. Morch, more? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Morituris? I don't know if I'm reading that right. It's not Mortuary. Morituris, it seems like. Anyway, Synapse Films. Now the lighting here, I have this big ass ring light here, but it's so dark uh, in general that I, I can't really read the back of this, guys. This is an all region disc. I'll try to read something here. Two lovely Romanian girls take a trip with three Italian men. Hey, Italia. 
uh, to a rumored night midnight rave in the middle of a dark forest. As the gang proceeds on foot to their final destination, a mysterious graveyard is discovered. Shockingly vile plot twist is revealed, and bloodthirsty undead and Roman gladiators rise from the dead to torture and mutilate their victims. For the two women, an already terrifying night is about to get much, much worse as the zombified warriors hunt down the group to tear their heads off. Will anyone survive the night? Sounds fucking amazing. An interesting mix of old-school 1980s Italian horror with a touch of the brutality of Wes Craven's Last House on the left. More Tourists is an unflinching, strong, cruel, and extremely violent film featuring gruesome effects from Italian special effects maestro Sergio Stivaletti. Oh, that's amazing. Who did stuff for Demons, Demons 2, Della Morte, Della More, and Opera, which is actually one of my favorite Argento films. This sounds fucking amazing. Uh, special features, there's not much, just original theatrical trailer and reversible cover art. But again, this is um, re all region, ABC, from 2011. So it's not an old film. Uh, it's gonna be interesting, 86 minutes. How the fuck have I never seen this before? I don't know, but happy to own it now. I'm not gonna read every single thing here, guys, but Sorceress, which I wanted to get because it features Lyndon Blair, Michael Parks, I don't know, and Julie Strain. I don't really know the name, but I might recognize her in the film. Anyway, another of the Synapse titles I picked up, and this is Uncensored Director Approved Edition. This is from 1995, so a lot older than that other one. 89 minutes, and again, I'm not gonna read the entire synopsis here, but uh, there's a special features, all new 2K transfer of the original, never before seen, uncut, uncensored version. Audio commentary with director Jim Wynorski. Oh, Jimmy, what's up, brother? Uh, additional commentary track with director Jim Wynorski and special guest, special effects artist, wow, Tom Savini did the commentary or, yeah, commentary on this, so that's awesome. Show these on the last. Uh, another Django movie that I don't know if I knew it existed or not, but it is a Synapse film release. Sergio Garone film, Django the Bastard. Now, I don't believe this is one that actually features Franco Nero, but that's all right. Django movies are usually pretty damn fun. You know, spaghetti westerns, uh, Italian old school western flicks, shoot 'em up movies. So, classic spaghetti western remastered for the first time ever in high definition. So cool that Synapse did this from 1969. So one of the original old school ones, 99 minutes. And uh, yeah, pretty excited about this. Western Spaghetti Western and a Synapse one that like I said, fill in a gap. Last of the, this package that is actually a Synapse title. There were a few more I was gonna get, but I started taking some out of my cart as I was you know, adding more and more and more. But anyway, Bruce Campbell in Running Time. Another Synapse one here. This one is from 1997. I will, oh, this is kind of short. 70 minutes, black and white, interesting. I'll read this one just because I'm interested myself. Uh, Bruce Campbell stars as Carl, a man who launches a full-scale heist to steal mob money from the, per from the prison that just released him. <laughs> wow. The help of an old friend, a driver, and a safe cracker, Carl's attempt to carry out the robbery is fraught with incompetence and bad luck. His clock ticks and the circumstances turn tragic. Carl is forced to make the most important decision of his life. Inspired by Alfred Hitchcock's, Hitch, Alfred Hitchcock's rope and filmed over 20 years. What? Before Sam Mendes' 1917, writer-director... Oh, ha <laughs> Maybe I should have finished reading. 20, filmed over 20 years before Sam Mendes' 1917, writer-director Josh Becker designed running time to play out using the one continuous shot technique with no computer-assisted trickery. So similar to 1917, but filmed 20 years earlier. Uh, expertly photographed and edited on film to take place over 70 minutes of real time. This gritty crime drama was shot entirely on location in the streets of Los Angeles. This actually sounds really fucking awesome. Uh, a bunch of special features. Uh, this one is, uh, I think these all, oh, these are all, all region as far as I can tell. ABC, 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 and ABC. So Synapse does all region stuff, which I'm not sure I was aware of. Anyway, guys, the last two items in that package from Grindhouse were two Scream Factory titles that are fairly new, but I wasn't sure if I was gonna get this slippies or not. Good thing about Grindhouse is they tell you that the slip covers come with them. So excited to have these guys. Wes Craven's Deadly Friend, one of Wes's movies that I have not seen actually. I've heard about from time to time over the years, but I've never seen this. New 2K scan from Inters Positive, new interviews with actress Christy Swanson, writer Bruce Joel Rubin, composer Charles Bernstein, and special makeup effects artist Lance Anderson, theatrical trailer as well. Rated R, Region A, again, Scream Factory release. 
uh, 90 minutes, uh, 1986 Wes Craven flip. So excited about that. And another one with the Slippy Dippy, Alone in the Dark. Uh, Donald Pleasance is in this one, as well as Jack Palance. Uh, Martin Landau as well. So star-studded cast, if I've ever seen one. Uh, this is 93 minutes from 1982. So another oldie, but uh, love that artwork there. Uh, it is the same. I'm assuming there's a reversible cover here. But again, another one I haven't seen, but I've heard about many, many a time over the years, but excited. Uh, I love Scream Factory. It's no secret. Uh, a lot of people out there complain about Scream Factory, but I am a completist or completionist, and I would would love to own every single Screen Factory title. Now, they release titles way too often, so I can't get them all, but I do try to get these collector editions pretty quickly after they come out. Anyway, guys, the last one up is actually an exciting one. Uh, they've all been exciting packages today, actually. Uh, I'm going to do a separate video for my Vinegar Syndrome Black Friday stuff and the November package and a bunch of other shit, partner labels, all that stuff. I'm going to do that in a separate video because this is going to be... A probably run over 20 minutes we're at 16 minutes now but i'm doing severing for this last one now this is a severn black friday package i know severn does peanuts so it's gonna be peanuts everywhere these white fucking cheetos bro these guys love that shit anyway this is an exciting one to end on so i said that uh, the vinegar syndrome stuff will be in the last or in another video but oh we have a 20 dollars gift card which they had said they were going to give to everyone uh whoa 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 whoa, whoa. i probably shouldn't have showed that Hopefully it didn't focus so you guys don't steal my gift card. Anyway, fuck, I'm gonna have to either edit that out or blur it somehow. Um, I don't know how to get under these peanuts. I'm just gonna take these one at a time here. Again, don't know shit about a lot of these movies from Severin. Uh, I'm not gonna sit and read the synopses of every one of them, but there are some Ruggiero Diodato movies that I'm very excited about in here. So just ended up getting the whole package this time around. Pretty expensive, but I didn't go for that extra stuff like statues and all that other shit. Uh, anyway, The Forbidden Door is uh, number one. It's from 2009, so a newer flick. Not sure how I feel about them doing like newer movies like that. Uh, again, you guys have watched my channel for a while. You know that a lot of the Severin movies are like hit or miss for me. There was a few month period where I just wasn't buying their shit at all, and then I started doing them again. Just because of, you know, like FOMO, right? I didn't want to fucking miss out on a lot of their stuff, but... One day, when I actually get time to watch their stuff, uh, I'll see. I'll see which ones I actually enjoy. Now, I'm sure I'm missing some stuff under these peanuts, but I'll check that off camera later. There's this uh, Transcontinental Film Corps. Cool, uh, kind of a Holocaust little flyer here. That's one of the Diodato's most popular, or probably the most popular Diodato film. Anyway, showed Forbidden Door. Next, we have Black Candles from 1982. Again, not, I don't know much about this one, so I'm not going to pretend that I do. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. I'll do the, uh, that one's actually, no, that was a Severin. This is an Intervision one. Uh, I don't, I own a few Intervision titles from, you know, that's one of the uh, Severin sub-labels or partner labels or however you want to talk, call it, The Halfway House. This is from 2004. Again, another newer one. This looks like some sort of a nunsploitation. The Worldwide Blu-ray premiere of the Uncensored Director's Cut. Just judging by the back, it looks, you know, there's some nuns and shit in here, so I don't know what's going on there, but uh, all these rest of these have slippies, so they are special edition. Bloody Pit of Horror. Nice. Uh, these guys are definitely upping their uh, game in terms of the slips. Uh, it's more similar now to the Vinegar Syndrome, which people would say they're ripping them off. But listen, the better quality from every company out there, the better competition makes everybody better. So uh, it doesn't have the synopsis on the back, but you could always, you know, read it here. But anyway, I'm, said, I'm not going to read them all anyway. This one's from 1965. So an older one, uh, Mickey Hargitay in Bloody Pit of Horror. Directed by Max Hunter. Now, that may be just a pseudonym for somebody else, but yeah, don't know much about that shit. A ba uh, Ballad in Blood. Here's one of the Deodato films that I was excited about. One that I have not seen. I've only seen, like, three. Uh, obviously, kind of a Holocaust. Uh, I don't know, like, Cut and Run, if that's the name of it that I remember. Um, the Washing Machine, which was fucking terrible. I don't even know if I finished that. I own the Shameless... Uh, release of that one but anyway ballad of blood hopefully this or ballad in blood rather hopefully this is one of the better 
Deodato films, but I'm excited just to have these on Blu-ray. I'm sure this the uh, scan is uh, magnificent. Uh, color 2016. There's no way this is a 2016 film, so... What the fuck? Is it? Is this guy... No, Deodato is still making films? If this is a 2016 film, I'm sure it's not good, but that's all right, guys. Um, Night of the Demon, this is one of the bigger ones that uh, I'm sure people were excited about. Now, I don't know if I've heard... I mean, there's other movies with the same title, I'm pretty sure. I know Night of the Demons, that's completely different, but I, I don't know if there's other films that have this title or if I just have other versions of this film. Probably should have looked into it a little more, but again, I got the whole package deal from Severin. So, 1983. You guys let me know what other companies, if any, have put this out. Um, what did I just say in terms of the year? 19... Did I say 83? Where the fuck did I just see that? 83. I don't know if there was like an older like 50s or 60s movie with the same title. That was like a UK production. Um, but anyway, guys, yeah, awesome fucking slip on this. And I actually love the original artwork as well. Hopefully that comes through without too much glare. So that's pretty cool. And last but not least in this one, again, one, ah, this is one that I have seen of Rogero Diodato. And this is House on the Edge of the Park. Now, I know there was a Code Red version of this as well, which I do own. And I was excited when that one came out. I had rewatched it then. That was like the second time I had seen it. Now I'll get to watch it for a third time. This is kind of uh, very similar, actually, to uh, Last House on the Left, the original, which is funny because this also stars uh, David Hess, who was also in the original Wes Craven, Last House on the Left. So, rape, revenge, fucking exploitation flick. Uh, yeah, like I said, directed by Rogero Diodato, 1980. So again, finally one that I've actually seen and an awesome fucking addition. Now, let me see in terms of the uh, special features. Audio commentary by Bruce Holchek and Art Edinger. The Man Who Loved Women interview with director Rogero Diodato. I don't know if it's new or not. Lights On interview with cinematographer Sergio Diofizzi. Like a Prairie Dog, interview with actor Giovanni Lombardo Radici, who's in tons of fucking old school Italian flicks. Goes by uh, multiple names, actually, on a lot of these films, too. External Beauty and Internal Ugliness, archival interview with David Hess, House Sweet House, interview with set designer Anton Antonello Galang, and then a second disc, feature length commentary by Felipe, or documentary rather by Felipe M. Guerra that explores the film by film triumphs, tragedies, and controversies of Deodato. That's exciting. And there's a third disc and it's a soundtrack. So very fucking awesome. Most exciting release out of that whole package for me, basically. I'm sure there's a lot of people that are the same. Let me know in the comments below, guys, what you like the best. Awesome fucking stuff here. Gifts from a lot of people. I love all you guys, Bill, Dan, Andrew, thank you very much for sending me stuff. If you guys want to support the channel in any way, Amazon wishlist link is down below. Amazon wishlist link is down below. Wow, I can't speak anymore. Um, of course, you're not obligated to send me anything, but uh, social media links, all that good shit, letterboxed, Frank Fulci RR, as in repulsive reviews. Follow me if you haven't already. You can see my little ratings of flicks that I've watched recently, horror and otherwise. And I uh, hope everyone's doing well. Happy, healthy, safe. Holidays are coming up, guys. Hopefully you're done all your shopping and you're prepared for that. And uh, you have your plans all set. And uh, until next time, guys, peace out and be good.